Dear students, faculty, staff, and administrators, we all have worked hard these past nine months to fulfill our duties. Faculty and students had to transition to different instruction modes and deal with the threat of COVID-19 on numerous occasions, especially those who've masked up and physically distanced to provide essential services here at GRCC and in our communities to keep everything going to serve our utmost respect. I cannot help but feel a deep sense of gratitude for everyone who has sacrificed for the common good. You will no doubt have your own list of heroes, but here are just a few of mine. Healthcare workers, thank you for all you do under such difficult and dangerous conditions. Essential workers, and that includes many of our students, thanks for clocking in every day. Thank you to the bus drivers, grocery store clerks, waste collectors, tradespeople, firefighters, law enforcement officers, and those who deliver packages to my door. A special thank you to the baristas who happily, and always with a smile, I suppose, uh, supply me with what seems to be an ever-increasing daily dose of caffeine that is needed to get me through the day. Everyone following the three Ws, those who wear a mask, watch the distance, and wash their hands. Thank you for doing your part every day to keep yourself, your loved ones, and our communities safe. And yet, amidst all of those challenges, we have come to a time to finish the semester's tasks. Regardless, for all of us, less will need to be more as we celebrate alone or with our immediate household members to stay safe and do our part to get this pandemic under control. I want to remind you that now, even more than ever, the holiday season could mean isolation and anxiety for some. I encourage you to reach out to your fellow alums, friends, and family who may not join in the celebration. But because physical distance does not require social isolation, we can keep each other close in other ways, text, social media, and the ever-present Zoom. With that in mind, for many of us, the holidays will feel really different this year. Even as we face these challenges and the range of emotions that arise with them, it's worth remembering that there remain many reasons to be grateful during this holiday season. I want to continue to set the gratitude mood with what I think is a very fitting, grateful pumpkin story that I adapted from writer and entrepreneur Seth Golden. So it's far where we are, and far comes with the iconography of the large orange pumpkin. It's an image recognized worldwide. People all over carve faces into them, stick a candle inside, and use them to ward off the darkness. This year, perhaps, we should have considered writing on a pumpkin instead. We could have used the pumpkin to inscribe all the things that we are grateful for, all the people who show up in our lives. We could have inscribed the pumpkin and highlighted our heroes, our friends, and the selfless people who show up for the community instead of merely looking for a shortcut. So then, seeing the pumpkin every day would have been a great way to remind ourselves of how fortunate we are. Even amidst the daily news, seemingly unending litany of selfishness and tragedy, it is possible to find someone who made a difference. And that colleagues, friends, and family brings me to the 2020 rendition of the Sekia Institute for Culinary Education's graduation ceremony. We hope that this recorded version of our graduation ceremony will serve as our 2020 pumpkin iconography inscribed with our heroes' names. The graduating students who persisted amidst all those challenges. Additionally, the faculty has also chosen to honor five students who demonstrate the ability to chart their course in our industry. Faculty recognize those students for their talent and gift to become future leaders in the hospitality and culinary worlds. Faculty recognize these five students to figure out the path that gets them in the industry's Hall of Fame. Perhaps not tomorrow, but trip by trip over their careers. Current students, 
graduates, award recipients, faculty, staff, and administrators. We are grateful that you all are part of our family and that we are all on this journey together. So without further ado, and with much gratitude, please allow us to present the 2020 Sekia Institute for Culinary Education graduating class and award recipients. Well, congratulations, class of 2020 culinary arts, culinary management, and baking and pastry students. Um, most of you have had as uh, students in my classroom. For those who don't know, I'm Chef Schultz, and it was an honor to be part of your education when you were here. And as I reflect back when most of you started as young freshmen and how excited everybody was and kind of some fears in your eyes, it was amazing to see everybody progress in their education. And then words can't describe what the world went through then last year in 2020. Nobody obviously could ever predict that. And as a faculty, we wanted to stop and pause and say congratulations for staying with this education that you chose. And as graduates, going through this most difficult time that we've faced in 100 years, it's up to you to provide hope for the hospitality industry. There's so much negativity in the world and we all can pick to join that bandwagon, how horrible things are. And I'm not denying that we have challenges now, but it's up to you to, to provide that hope and encouragement for our hospitality industry. This is what us as faculty want you to carry on in your education. So now you have the ability to set the stage for what the hospitality industry is gonna look for the future. And I challenge you to take those words and provide hope for the hospitality industry because we are all very, very proud of your accomplishments. We're very, very proud of you being able to stick with this education. And now let's, let's just tackle this head on and encourage everybody and provide hope for everybody. First of all, congratulations for achieving this milestone in your career. Thank you for working so hard in your culinary future and taking st important steps to be a professional. Uh, I wanna say thank you for allowing me to share my passion, my skills, and my experience with you. Now it's up to you to continue and to carry the torch and to develop and continue to add more experiences and also skills and knowledge that you need to be a professional. Again, thank you. Let's continue to work together. Let's continue to work together as not as an instructor and a student, but now let's work together as culinary professionals. Again, congratulations on this major achievement of your culinary education. First, I'd like to say congratulations to the class of 2020. You've gone through a lot. You've worked your tail off, especially in my class. Uh, I really appreciate the efforts and the, and the dedication it took to graduate. A lot of people would have quit and a lot of people did quit, but you stuck in there and, and worked your tail off. The, um, the two words in the English language that I say should never be strung together in your career are as good enough. So you know if you took my class, I hate those words because it means you're gonna settle and you're gonna settle for things that aren't good or are good enough. So make sure that whatever you put out uh, food-wise or service-wise is as good as you possibly can. The best advice I ever received in my career was from Paul Perdome. Um, Big Paul was one of the leaders and probably one of the first celebrity chefs. And Paul's advice was when you're standing on the line and those chits are coming through on that ticker tape and it's starting to line up, just remember to think about who you're serving. You could be serving your mother and father for their anniversary, your brother and his new wife announcing their engagement, uh, your grandmother's birthday. Whatever it is, just remember how important and how special it is to them. You, you are what they came in to celebrate. 
you help them celebrate their meals, their, their occasions, and if you forget that, then all you're doing is slinging hash. So try to remember that the, that the person in your dining room is celebrating a special event and not concentrate on ticket times, on chits, and on, on just speed in general. I know we get competitive in our, in our industry, but you need to remember that the customer comes first, and especially customers come first when it comes to celebrating in our restaurants. So take care in the industry, work, work your tail off, you'll be rewarded for good, good hard work and the best attitude you can put out daily. Um, you know, every chef I know says, I don't care if the kid can, can cook, I only care that, I, um, that they come in with a good attitude because you can't teach attitude. Attitude comes from you. So uh, have a great career, enjoy yourself, and work your tail off. Welcome class of 2020, my heartful congratulations. When I graduated, I thought I was done learning, far from the truth. Our profession pushes us to encourage lifelong learning. So a couple words of wisdom. Find something outside of work, whether it's skiing, snowboarding, reading, gaming. Find something that your heart and your head can find peace with. And then two, do what is good, fair, and right in your personal and professional lives. And don't burn any bridges, either personal or professional. And don't ever forget about those persons that helped you get to where you are today, friends, family, and loved ones. Be humble and live each day with gratitude. So COVID class of 2020, you're the best class ever. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have done it. You have completed your certificate or degree with the Sekia Institute for Culinary Education. We are so proud of you. You made it not only through your certificate or degree, but also through a very difficult year. On March 11 of 2020, many of us were in class that evening in our lab class. I was lecturing when many of my students and myself received an emergency text notification from GRCC. And that notification said that we would be closed for the weekend as the college made plans to respond to COVID. What none of us knew at that time is that we wouldn't be returning. And we ended up moving a lot of classes online and many of your lab classes that you needed to graduate were canceled. This was a very disappointing and mind-blowing time for many of you. So I just want to congratulate you on returning to class in the fall of 2020. Many of you came, all of you came, with positive attitudes and ready to get back to work. You were willing and able to participate in our safety protocol so that we could continue to meet in person and you could finish your classes. And you showed incredible resilience and determination as you finished your degrees. I'm so proud of all of you and all of those character attribu attributes will take you very far in this industry. Congratulations. Hey, huge shout out to our graduating class of 2020. I know this isn't how you envision your graduation ceremony going, but way to hang in there. Just so you know, you're the first class that we've actually made a video for, so it's gonna live on in the digital world forever. So that's awesome, right? It's been awesome getting to hang out with all of you. You're such a fun group. There's a lot of passion, ambition, and camaraderie with you guys, and it's been really great to see you learn and grow throughout the program. I know that you guys are gonna do great things, and I'm really excited to see and hear all of your stories and watch what you do in the future. Congrats. Welcome 2020 graduates of the Sekia Institute for Culinary Education. Uh, first off, I want to congratulate you for graduating and for sticking it out through what were some pretty strange times and still remain to be. Um, you've achieved a major milestone in your lives as far as I'm concerned in securing a skilled working set. Um, you're, one thing that is very cool about being a chef is that your skill set is very portable. You can pick it up, basically go anywhere in the world and find work cooking in the kitchen. A lot of adventures out there. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is never quit learning. You've got your degree under your belt. I encourage folks to make plans for going down the road. What's going to happen later in your career? For example, myself, I got out of kitchens at 49 and I was uh, teaching part-time here and uh, at any rate uh, I've become full-time and what a great transition from the active kitchen now to helping people come along 
and uh, find their way in this in this amazing industry. So it's a very portable, very flexible, um, all sorts of opportunities on the uh, around the world, <clears throat> whether it's uh, travel, uh, restaurants, hotels, hospitals, schools, things like that. There are just so many opportunities out there for you to flex your muscles and uh, get your skills uh, on display. So uh, in your, your tour through your career as your life progresses, always make sure that you're seeking out mentors to help you continue learning and be a mentor to help others continue learning. Uh, share your knowledge, seek out knowledge. Uh, I read a statement, and I'm sure many chefs have, that uh, anybody who uh, is worth their salt is going to be able to share their recipes. Recipes shouldn't be secrets. So share what you've learned, share what you know. Take care of your physical health. One of the big things you need to watch in this industry, you know it's very stressful. You know you spend a lot of time on your feet. Take care of your feet, your legs, your back. You'll need them later and uh, eat well, get plenty of sleep, take care of your stresses. There's a whole list of things you need to take care of to have a long career in this industry. So also take care of your peers, the people that work around you. Uh, and that helps bring great unity to an operation, a kitchen, and you wanna make your workplace be uh, as functional as possible. So focus on that. Focus on how you're going to exist in the world of restaurants and hospitality with your footprint as a business. Think about impacts that your operation might bring to a locality. Think about how purchasing and being intelligent, intelligent about what you do with your uh, trained knowledge about re, uh, recycling, uh, composting, it's a, it's a healthy green way to go. And I think our industry's taken a lot of steps towards being a friendlier footprint on the planet. So uh, I'll close it up by saying that you should uh, always continue planning for what's gonna happen down the road. Don't quit learning and love what you do and uh, enjoy your career in this industry of being of service to others, showing, showing them the best of hospitality and the best of your skill. Brewing graduates, uh, congratulations. You have earned your certi certificate in some trying times. Uh, through that, you have persevered and shown a lot of flexibility, which will serve you well as you go on to work professionally in the craft brewing industry. Um, congratulations, and I look forward to drinking your beer someday. Congratulations, class of 2020. Well done. It has been a challenging and unfortunately tumultuous year. I am glad you took the bulk of your classes prior to 2020. Welcome to your new profession. Stressful at time and filled with unpredictable last minute demands, but also so rewarding if you commit right away to becoming the best chef you can be. Over the last few years, you have built relationship with the faculty, fellow culinary student, and student from many other fields of studies. You have witnessed the relationships and camaraderie your instructor demonstrated toward other instructors and GRCC staff. From custodian to graphic design, from science to computer technology, from campus police to visual art, and from audiovisual to purchasing. We GRCC staff count on each other to be successful and to provide our students with the best education. We hope to have inspired you to be curious, courteous, respectful of everyone around you, and to thrive for knowledge. As you graduate from the Seki Institute for Culinary Education, you must totally dedicate any free time to learn the intricacy of our craft. Do not cut any corner. Spend as much time in the kitchen as you can. Be ready to work hard. Be passionate and dedicated. This early commitment will pay off in the long run. You must be willing to make this sacrifice early in order to prepare for a bright and successful future. 
there will be time to find some balance in your life a little later. Meanwhile, you will want to keep yourself healthy and fit. As Voltaire wrote, perfection walks slowly. She requires the hand of time. Be a lifelong learner, become a well-rounded chef, then laser focus on becoming the best at what you really enjoy. Stay open-minded. Tomorrow chef will have to constantly update its skill in order to stay relevant. Thank you for having trusted us to share our expertise with all of you. We hope to have provided you with some real life situation which will guide you in your career choices. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity, but opportunity has an expiration date. May you enjoy your work, may you find something every day that will make you glad you chose this profession. Bon voyage. The faculty award for the craft brewing certificate goes to a student who has uh, made a positive impression both on the faculty and his peers. This year, the award goes to a student that has continually gone above and beyond. Prior to enrolling for the certificate, he worked for 25 years at the Grand Rapids Police Department. Prior to enrolling in the craft brewing program at GRCC, home brewing was a passion and hobby. He retired after 25 years at Grand Rapids Police Department and decided to take the opportunity to further his skills and knowledge about brewing. From there, he's made great relationships in the craft brewing industry, including those at his internship at Beer Distillery. After completing that internship, he was offered a position as a distiller and brewer. While originally his plan was just to improve his skills in home brewing, he's gained an appreciation for the camaraderie spirit in the craft brewing industry in West Michigan. After completing his internship at Beer Distillery in Comstock Park, they offered him a position as a brewer and distiller. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of good things to come from him. Tonight, it is my honor to present Lars Pulaski with the Faculty Award. Uh, your hard work and dedication have made you a joy to have in class, both for myself as an educator and for your classmates as a future uh, craft beer professional. I'm sure that you'll take that same passion and dedication into the craft brewing uh, industry, and they are lucky to have you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I would like to thank, thank uh, Dr. Vanna Obzinga uh, and professors Allison Hoekstra, John Svoboda, and Jake Brenner for the privilege of their instruction. Um, as uh, Professor Hoekstra said, I was 25 years in law enforcement and finally had the opportunity to pursue a passion uh, through the GRCC program and it has been phenomenal. Um, the equipment, the instruction, the professionalism, and the curriculum have been second to none. And I think it is uh, very telling of uh, GRCC's program, um, uh, the excellence they have and the commitment to uh, the craft brewing industry here in West Michigan. And I really wanna thank you for this award. Thank you. I'd like to start talking about our faculty award this year. Every year our faculty and staff get together and we collaborate on who we feel is going to represent GRCC represent our department and the community as they move forward in their career in this hospitality field. And this award not only reflects all of that, but it reflects so many other things. We're looking for a graduate who has the stamina and ability to be a leader in this industry. And I wanna kind of talk about a few words for, about this recipient. And not only is this recipient dedicated to the craft of culinary, but definitely a team-oriented person, volunteered numerous times to help out with extracurricular activities, uh, was there for fellow students when they needed help in the laboratory. There's often times where some students need help in the laboratory, and this student always jumped in to help another fellow classmate. 
the relationship that this recipient has, has established definitely it makes us all very, very proud. I'm proud of this recipient. I'm proud of where their career is going and where they will lead the next culinary uh, staff in 2020 and beyond. I'm very proud of you for this year's Faculty Award winner. On behalf of the GRCC, um, Secchi Institute for Culinary Education uh, faculty, we've had great conversations in picking our Faculty Award recipient, and it is my honor to present one of the awards to Leah Mordike. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so exciting. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to Chef Schultz, Dr. Absinger, everybody involved in this. Uh, during my time at Sekia, it was one of my ultimate goals to work hard enough to win one of these awards at graduation. And I'm so proud to be here today, having earned this award. I wanted to thank all the chefs that I had the honor of learning from during my time here at Sekia, especially Chef Schultz. <laughs> uh, during my international cuisine class, it was Chef Schultz who had um, recommended me to assist um, with a chef, Chef Wentz, at the 2018 Beer, Wine, and Food Show. Um, that connection led me to have a summer internship with him and then ultimately led me to being a part of the Black Star Farms team who uh, just won the USA Today uh, Best Winery in in America. Um, my years spent at Sekia were some of the best years of my life. Um, I was finally doing something I loved, learning new things, growing immensely in my craft and um, the relationships I made here with the chefs and uh, my fellow students were ones that I cherish and will last for a lifetime. Um, after being out in the field for the last year and a half or so, it's been amazing to me how well Sekia prepared me for the industry. Um, the knowledge has helped me excel in my career so far and uh, keep growing ever since. Um, what an incredible honor to receive the award and congratulations to the rest of the graduates as well. Thank you. I wanna take a couple of minutes to talk about one of the recipients of our faculty award this year. This student is hardworking and passionate about culinary arts, both sweet and savory. The student is kind and compassionate toward others and she keeps a sense of humor even when she's in the weeds. The student also has a competitive side and likes to think outside of the box and step just a little bit outside of their comfort zone. I've been lucky enough to be able to work side by side with this student, both in multiple classes and in a coaching capacity. And I can say with great certainty that we'll continue to see this student do great things in our industry in the future. Congrats. I'm very excited and proud to present our faculty award recipient for 2020, Sydney Hyde. Hey everyone, um, I'm super honored to receive this award. Um, if you asked me a few years ago, this is where I would be from now, I don't, think I would believe you. I never saw myself being here today, but I am super grateful for everything that I learned in the culinary program. Um, all of the friends I've made, all of the faculty that's here, um, the whole experience has really been great. Yeah, I'm grateful for all the experiences that I've had here and everything that I've learned. And I'm really excited to take my skills um, and knowledge out there and continue my education and keep learning as much as I can in this industry and maybe make a difference someday. And the Program Director Award uh, is awarded to a student who exhibits 
uh, leadership abilities in the industry. It is one of the students who consistently um, shows faculty that they are interested in doing more than and going beyond what is required of them in the program. This particular student who we will award the program director award to this year has helped in many instances with that. Uh, for example, he has helped me with culinary medicine in our collab collaboration with Spectrum Health quite tremendously. Uh, that student also was part of a, our NASA Hunch team, uh, where we went, uh, where we received the second place in a national com competition to develop recipes for NASA and the International Space Station. And the students consistently went above and beyond to help out other students, faculty, and volunteer for events whenever that was needed. And today it's a great pleasure for me to present the Program Director's Award to Chef Tom Brown. Thank you, Dr. Herbslinger. So I did uh, prepare a few words just to accept this award. Um, I'm honored uh, to be receiving this award I'm truly humbled by the fact that I was considered for this award, and I express my gratitude to the faculty, professors, and instructors who nominated me for this award. During my two years here, I would often stop outside the Secchi office and read the names on the plaque, envisioning the possibility of someday my name being up there. Um, that day is today, and I'm very proud of myself for the perseverance that got me here today. I'd like to say thank you very much again for everyone at Secchia for this award. I have always enjoyed eating, um, but I have enjoyed more the company of those that eat with us. Cooking was a trade that I wanted to learn from a young age. Growing up in the times of hardship, my father's ability to cook a meal and bring us around the table gave me the feeling of security and hope. I have since longed for the ability to bring the people most important to me around a table so that I may share my love with them through my cooking. Before enrolling to the Secchi Institute of Culinary Education, I did not have much knowledge about cooking. When I first joined the culinary arts program, I was unsure of what lay ahead of me and the amount of knowledge I would gain. For me, it was my second attempt at college and I was determined to be successful. I believe that how much you put into something, you will get out of it. I like to think of receiving this award as an example of doing so. There are endless amounts of opportunities at this institution. I encourage everyone to take the chances and to pursue those opportunities and see where they take you. For me, it was my opportunity to work alongside Dr. Absinger, first with culinary medicine and then onto the NASA Hunch Culinary Challenge. Though I believe the most important opportunity we have with our time at Secchia is the connections we make and the relationships we build with our classmates to make new friends, and to learn the endless amount of knowledge from our chef instructors and professors. We in this industry are a team, and we must always work together to be successful. I wish to extend my gratitude and my thanks to anyone I've had the pleasure of working alongside with and learning from during this time. The coolest thing I got to do in this program was definitely work with Dr. Absinger and Victoria Oy uh, in the NASA Hunch competition. The competition required us to create a dish that had strict nutritional guidelines for astronauts to eat on the International Space Station. We researched science of how the food is processed for space flight and other factors such as the impact of gravity on an astronaut's digestive tract. Together, we were able to place in the top 10 of the nation and we were invited to NASA's headquarters in Houston to cook. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we were unable to travel and had to complete the competition virtually. Even with this hurdle, I couldn't be any more proud of receiving second place in the nation for the NASA Hunch Culinary Challenge. My time at Secchia has been fulfilling and I'll carry it proudly with me throughout my career. I'm grateful for the opportunity to have met everyone I have through this institution and I'm excited to learn where our bright futures will take us. I ask you all to never stop looking inward, to always project yourself outward in a positive way and to never stop your thirst for knowledge. Thank you again for this award, everyone at Secchia. I hope you have a good night, a good evening, and everyone has a safe, loving holiday. Thank you, good night.
Hello, I have the privilege and honor to award the 2020 class valedictorian. This honor is given to the person with the highest grade point average in our associate degree program. The award winner had a perfect 4.0 grade point average in lab and classroom work. Valedictorians are not born smart. They are developed in the classroom and labs. Our valedictorian has a wonderful dedication and commitment and love to our craft and profession. This person makes fellow students, staff, and faculty a little bit better as a result of their presence. We are very proud and wish you all great things in the future. It's my honor and privilege to award the 2020 class valedictorian to a young lady with a perfect 4.0. She has made us all a little bit better and kinder as a result of her past two years here. Our 2020 class valedictorian, Amanda Lynn Barnett. Hi, so uh, I'm Amanda and I, um, I've i loved my time here at uh, Secchia at GRCC. I was a teacher before coming here and was running after school cooking clubs for kids and decided that I wanted to learn more. So um, I came here and I definitely learned a lot more um, and I feel really prepared to go off into the industry and do the things that I uh, really love to do. Um, currently a pastry chef, getting to do things um, getting to do creative things every single day, which is fun. And um, it's just been super fun being a part of this program. Um, one, in the sense that I got to meet so many talented and creative chefs um, that are also going out into the industry with me who graduated this year too. And um, it was fun just seeing what other people came up with and getting to work alongside them every day in the kitchens here. And um, I definitely was pushed to grow and learn from them. And it's also been great working with all of the chefs here too, because they all really get to know you and they uh, really want to listen to what you're passionate about and what you want to do with uh, your degree once you uh, graduate. And uh, they have really helped connect me to opportunities that um, I have loved doing so. I've gotten to help out with the Key Up program and working with students from Wyoming Public Schools and teaching them. And I also got to work um, with the um, workforce program and do summer culinary camps for middle school students. And uh, that was super fun getting to plan those and work with kids every day um, and getting to see them become passionate about cooking and baking too. One other opportunity that I got to connect with during my time here at Secchia is the Spectrum Health Culinary Medicine Program. So we get to teach um, healthy cooking lessons, both to medical residents and to children and their families. And um, that's been a super fun opportunity to get to connect my teaching with my passion for cooking and really feel like um, I get to be a part of something that's making a cool difference in our community. Cool. Yeah, so I've just really loved my time here at Seki, and I'm really excited to see what the future holds for my culinary career. Hi, graduates. I wanted to stop by and give a warm congratulations to all of you. I can't imagine how proud you must be of yourselves and how proud your friends and family must be of you, because not only have you completed a college degree, you've done so in the middle of a pandemic. I hope you realize what that means about you. You've persevered, you're flexible, and you have the grit to be successful in whatever your next adventure is. So we wish you all the best in the future. Come back and see us, tell us about your story, but most importantly, take those traits and do what you want for your future. Congratulations to all of you on completing the Secchia Institute for Culinary Education program and a GRCC degree. Both were well-earned and will serve you well as you go forward and tantalize the taste buds of the world. Best of luck to all of you on your next pursuits. Well done. Hey graduates, oh my goodness, you finished this degree. I'm sure all of you sit there and go, phew, oh my goodness, that's more than or different than I've ever done before. And that's okay, that's okay. Because in my opinion, you have graduated from the best culinary institute in the country. Congratulations on that. Am I biased? You bet I am. But I also think that it's true. Because you have graduated from the Secchia Institute for Culinary Education. 
And the reason why I believe it's the best in the country is because of the faculty that you were able to learn from under. There are incredible faculty members that you have learned at the feet of and that have taught you, that have persevered with you, that have helped you. And the nice thing about our faculty friends is that they are those individuals who say, let me know how I can continue to help you. That's what makes it the best culinary school in the country. And if it's the best in the country, that means the GRCC degree that you celebrate is indeed the best. And so the nice thing about that education, ladies and gentlemen, is that education is something that no one can take away from you. Someone can grab the diploma and take it off the wall. It can get destroyed in some kind of an accident, sure. But the education that you have, the ability that you have, no one takes that away from you. So be proud of that education. Tell others about the education that you received at Grand Rapids Community College in the Sekia Institute for Culinary Education because others need to know the story of how this institution alongside you were able to persevere during a pandemic and help you to finish. I look forward to hearing about what your next is. My encouragement to you is to knock it out of the park, whatever that next is. And as I say to all of our graduates at some point, come back to see us, let us know how you're doing and celebrate the fact that you are indeed a GRCC graduate. Go Raiders and congratulations.